Many have looked to ancient Chinese medicine to cure disease, but to enhance athletic performance? The swim team at the University of Virginia has discovered that the ancient form of exercise, known as Qigong, has brought them certain advantages. It's really helped my body to recover and prepare for the next practice. Uh, and it's, it's helped me in the water to be able to um, just feel better and be able to sustain my effort for longer. Initially looking for a competitive edge for his team, coach Mark Bernardino found that Qigong keeps his swimmers healthy. When I first met John and we first talked about implementing some of his movements and some of his philosophy and some of his theory into the program, I would tell you that I was selfishly looking for an edge. And when I, after my first few meetings with John, he volunteered to teach the entire coaching staff um, Qigong. And we all decided we would participate and we would learn and we would um, spend a lot of time finding out what the merits were for ourselves prior to having the athletes go through it. And indeed, every single coach was able to gain major benefits for, from a health perspective, from a fitness perspective, from a, an ability to relax and reduce stress uh, in our daily lives. So we felt it was absolutely an edge that if we could capture with our athletes that perhaps it would be the kind of thing they could bring to a meet, to a, a tough competition and have an edge that their competitors don't have, be, do something that nobody else was doing um, and use it to their advantage. And I think it has proven in our case, um, especially for the athletes that have bought into it, that enjoy doing it, it's allowed them to stay healthier, um, swim faster, and focus better. When the weather is getting colder and then the training is going up, you know, your body is, your body's tired, you're not getting enough sleep, um, school is hard, and then you're, you're like, you have such rigorous training that your body's gonna break down. And along with the cold, it's really, really easy to get sick so we're trying to prevent that. When I was a first year I was a little apprehensive you know the whole Tai Chi thing I was like okay what does that have to do with swimming I'm not really sure I don't know if I like this but um, once you start doing it more and more and you actually feel what he's talking about and then it actually affects you once you do it enough that's when I first started to be like okay well this actually works and I'm gonna do this a lot because it really it's really helpful. John Alton, a Qigong expert and instructor in Charlottesville, Virginia, leads the team in Qigong exercises for three to four week sessions. Beyond his sessions, the swimmers continue their movements to stay healthy. When a person exercises to the level that the swimmers exercise to, it just takes a very little bit for them to be able to grab a hold of it on a different level of consciousness and start using it in a way that we consciously in the West have never learned to do because we have no real tradition of mind-body exercise. The mental benefit right now is what's most for me, but um, it definitely is something that, is, that you can build on and have physical benefits as, as well as mental benefits as you progress in um, learning Tai Chi. I'm Abina Foreman reporting.